Another way that you can customize brushes is with the paint layering panel. This was known as Stroke Attributes prior to Painter 2023. This can be found in the Properties bar in the Opacity Flyout, or in the Window menu, Brush Control Panels, Brush Media, Paint Layering. Mine is docked in my workspace above the layers. I'll load the Paint Layering template, and I'll select the Soft Airbrush. Currently, this brush doesn't have any paint layering applied, so if I select a green color, and I paint across the canvas, the opaque paint just covers the underlying colors. By turning on paint layering, I can now choose how my paint blends with the underlying colors. Paint layering only affects pixels that have already been applied to the canvas, so you either need to paint on a flattened image or on layers that already have content on them. Under Merge Mode, I can choose Multiply. Now when I paint, I'm tinting the underlying colors rather than covering them, and I am unable to cover black. Paint layering has changed the appearance of the media coming out of this brush to make it look more transparent like watercolor or marker. Next I will change the merge mode to screen, and if I paint across the canvas, you can see that now the underlying pixels are becoming lighter, giving me a glow brush effect. We can also use composite methods on layers to get a similar effect to paint layering, but with the advantage of being able to adjust the layer properties like opacity. I'll select the multiply composite method. At first, the effect you get from composite methods looks quite similar to paint layering, but if I keep painting in one spot, it's never going to build up black because this is opaque paint that has reached 100% opacity. It only looks like ink because the layer is blended to tint the background. If I enable paint layering set to multiply, now I can build up that stroke and that will multiply the merge mode effect, eventually creating black. Merge modes are composite methods that are applied per dab. You can see this by making an opaque hard edge brush and comparing two sets of overlapping dabs. There is also a slider to adjust the paint layer opacity. This makes each dab more transparent, reducing the overall strength of the brush. Merge mode can also be utilized by the glazing and fluid paint brushes. If I select the hard brush in the glazing category, you'll see merge mode is available in the properties bar. You can get some really interesting effects by playing with these merge mode properties.